While Google Earth allows you to explore the stars, the moon, and even Mars, most of your class projects will revolve around the Earth. Let's take a look at the three types of views you and your students can use in your projects. The overhead view is an aerial shot of a geographical region like the one seen below. You'll do most of your searching and pinpointing locations from this view. When you zoom in from the overhead view, you may get to street view as seen below. Street view is not available everywhere on Earth. In fact, at this point it's mainly available for major metropolitan areas and world landmark sites. Did you know that Google employees actually ride around on bikes with cameras to make street view a reality? The still images taken are later collated together to form a virtual 360 degree panorama of a specific area. Cool, huh? Now you can fly down to the streets in 3D with the new Street View in Google Earth 6. Street View has been seamlessly integrated with our 3D environment so you can experience the streets like never before. Let's start by exploring a location in Street View. Search for Boulder, Colorado and zoom in to your area of interest. You will see the Pegman icon appear below the navigation controls in the top right. Click and drag the Pegman icon to the location on the map where you want to see Street View. When you drag the Pegman across the 3D viewer, a blue border will appear around the roads that have Street View imagery available. It's easy and fun to navigate in Street View. You can double click on a place in the image to move in that direction and just click and drag on the image to change your view. Using the navigation controls in the top right corner, you can easily rotate 360 degrees or use the arrows to adjust your perspective. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard and scroll wheel on your mouse to navigate in Street View. You can also see what this location looks like in 3D. Toggle between Street View and Ground Level View with 3D buildings. When you're in the Ground Level View, make sure the 3D Buildings layer is turned on for a more enhanced experience. To return to Street View, simply click the Pegman icon to switch back to the Street View mode. And when you're ready to exit Street View, click the Exit button in the top right corner. Now you can fly from outer space down to the streets with the new Street View in Google Earth 6. Download Google Earth 6 at earth.google.com. Google has begun a project to model ancient cities in three dimensions, starting with ancient Rome. Nobody's quite sure when they'll release more 3D models, but it's been said it's a project they're working on. The 3D modeling view is actually a layer inside Google Earth's navigation. We'll discuss more about that later in the course. Did you know your students can add their own 3D buildings to any place on Google Earth? Google's service is called Building Maker and is relatively easy to use so may be a nice addition to a student project. At Google, we're very excited to announce the newest layer in Google Earth, Ancient Rome 3D. You can travel back in time to see Rome, Italy, as it was in 320 AD, and explore Ancient Rome as never before. Let's start by opening Google Earth and selecting the Ancient Rome 3D layer under Gallery. In Google Earth, you can fly over the city to explore more than 6,000 3D buildings, including many in high detail and some containing full interior. Our team worked with the Rome Reborn Project, headquartered at the University of Virginia, to provide the data. In each placemark, you will find historical information about each monument. Let's fly down to the famous Colosseum in the center of this Roman Empire. This impressive complex was built for popular animal hunts, famous battles, and gladiatorial games, and could seat up to 50,000 people. It's one of the greatest works of Roman architecture, and now you can picture yourself standing in the center during that time. Now, let's stay in the city center, but swoop down to the Roman Forum, which includes the oldest and most important buildings in this ancient city. The Basilica Julia was used for business meetings, legal trials, and other official business during the early Roman Empire. Here, we can see intricate detail of the interior, such as columns, ceilings, and marble floors. Let's fly over to the Temple of Vesta, which was a holy spot in the form. Vesta's festival, the Vestial, 
took place in this temple each June 9th. Now, it's your turn to see history. Travel back in time to ancient Rome and fly through the famous buildings and monuments in 3D. Visit earth.google.com slash rome to download Google Earth and discover ancient Rome in 3D.